through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 147. All right. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the week of May 15th. It's a Tuesday as per usual. Mm -hmm. um, it's a nice week. Not, yeah. not too shabby of yeah. a, a, a variety We've of options. definitely had worse. Oh yeah, much, much worse. <laughs> this week we actually legitimately enjoyed pretty yeah. much all of them yeah like, yeah i mean they're I not say that yeah. they're, they're all enjoyable we like, don't have any that we have to just say and also it's a big new world's coming out hey. Hey. Yeah. No, like, this is all right yeah all right it's almost like a dvd picks almost Whoa. almost we retire that title <laughs> um rest in peace yes <laughs> the first one i wanted to talk about was a film that came out this year i guess almost all of them except one of them yeah. two of them have come out this year already yes. which is crazy to think about yeah uh, we're already that far into the year that we yeah. can get releases yeah. from this year but the first one came out in january mm -hmm. it was the gray yes the liam neeson uh action yarn is that the right word um fighting wolves. yeah fighting wolves in the arctic after a plane crash mm -hmm. um known that's sort of what it got notoriety was yeah for the fighting wolves yeah. <laughs> not a heck of a lot of that actually in the film per se that's what i heard um but it's still kind of an interesting film with the you know the, the like being stalked by a predator mm -hmm. and sort of trying to survive in mm -hmm. a wilderness environment like i would have killed myself right away honestly <laughs> yeah. like, I, I, like they crash the plane i'd be like is there like a sharp metal object yeah. i can like jump somebody on? eat my butt when i'm dead just yeah. go for it yeah you can you can ask me <laughs> yeah just like, yeah. assuming the wolves don't get me before then but i would have thrown in long ago but um it's coming out on a Blu-ray, DVD, digital, copy, ultraviolet, super edition. Nice. Which is always good. Yeah. Um, Big fan of those. It's got a feature commentary with the director and mm. the editor, and which is Joe Carnahan. should note that, of mm. the A-Team nice. and uh, NARC and all that good stuff. It's got some deleted scenes, which I've heard they recorded a different ending Ooh. to the movie, which they actually ended up cutting. So the ending is different than you might think which some people negatively responded to some people were okay with with the I, ending that was just theatrical yeah shown? i was okay. sort of like in between i didn't love it but i kind of appreciated it and i gotcha. thought you know so it'd be kind of interesting to see what else they had yeah totally right? exactly yeah, yeah yeah um it's got uh the ultraviolet and digital copy which is cool mm -hmm. so if you want to stream or you want to download you're covered both ways mm -hmm. and it's got a picture in picture feature which uh hmm. shows pre-visualizations and storyboard comparisons to some of the films scenes which that's i think is cool. pretty awesome yeah. like if you think about like film school that's essentially like film school yeah. in action yeah like you're getting it all right there and picture that. in picture like who even has tvs that do those anymore so the idea i think of, everybody <laughs> does but like nobody ever does anymore like that yeah that was a much bigger feature back in the day but like like before dvr yeah exactly that, that, that yeah dvr probably did kill picture in picture <laughs> yeah. you're right that's probably like you're like why would i want to watch it small i can just record it and watch it next i you know what i used to love to do uh picture in picture for mm. was uh i would um have like some some like tv i was watching mm -hmm. in the small picture if i didn't need to like watch the details of it i'd play video games <laughs> i was like i don't need to listen to the video That's game soundtrack genius. yeah it was good good times um so yeah good times there <laughs> the next one mm -hmm. uh came out also this year which also comes in a blu-ray dvd digital copy Ooh. edition is chronicle yes the superhero uh adventure mm -hmm. from found footage found fo yeah, yeah found footage yeah. uh compared to was it akira is what yes. it's been compared yes. to uh, you yes. know kids who get superpowers mm -hmm. who it corrupts deal them super consequences <laughs> some of them are corrupted some of them not so yes. much um very very fun film though i really enjoyed it um sort of faux set in seattle mm -hmm. so if you're yeah. a seattleite and haven't seen it that's cool uh filmed i think largely in south africa with wow. a little bit of se seattle and maybe some vancouver thrown in as well probably Van um, vancouver's <laughs> i mean there's a space the needle in yeah. it at some point so there's probably that's some the one seattle. that they had the really neat uh like flying rc planes that looked like yes. humans that they flew around in like new york or somewhere mm. to help spread the virality of the movie yeah no it was, it was a it was a it was one of the surprise hits mm -hmm. so far this year i would definitely mm -hmm. categorize um it's got a variety of stuff it's got an unrated director's cut supposedly some scenes have been added to the mm. film i watched a commercial for the advertising today hey um that. so i think it looked like maybe some nudity i don't know 
if that's really going to make the film any better, but it's going to add it, add more nudity, so that's, I guess, a positive. I mean, Plus one and a half boobs. Yeah. That's... It looked like there's some, like, towel hiding some nudity, probably a slippage or two, you know. That's how those things go. Uh, deleted, they are teenagers. <laughs> deleted scenes, obviously, some pre-visualization stuff, camera test stuff, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Nice. It's a decent selection, but not great but um, still the huge combo pack so that's a least, huge combo at least that. pack the film itself is pretty entertaining you know mm -hmm. i i definitely dig it and i'm curious to see what happens on uh, next because that was from uh the writer max landis mm. son of john landis wow you wrote that one so nice. good on him for that uh finally we're going to talk about a film that's already been released mm -hmm. a long time ago mm -hmm. i'm not that long i guess um <laughs> it's but, the year i graduated high school yeah, don't make me feel yeah. that old spencer uh <laughs> too late this is the blu-ray criterion release <laughs> mm -hmm. of it though and that is being john malkovich mm -hmm. uh we've always said criterion does amazing additions yeah. they they really are great about adding special features mm -hmm. and making things and making better. It worthwhile, yeah. I mean, being John Malkovich in and of itself is a pretty worthwhile thing. Yeah. So adding it is sort of just gravy. Our introduction yeah. to uh, what uh, Charlie Kaufman and kind um, of, not necessarily Spike Jones, but definitely it's not Charlie his. Kaufman. It wasn't his first one. He actually did like, um, but it was probably like when he really exploded. Human Nature, into... I think, was his first mm. one. Uh, I think it was when he really exploded. Oh yeah, this, though, is, in the Hollywood's him, this eyes, is when yeah. he exploded. This is when. I believe Spike Jones really yeah. exploded. I mean, everyone pretty much exploded at this time, mm -hmm. and it's it's a it's a pretty solid addition as a new high des HD transfer. Mm. It's got a new selected scene audio commentary from Michelle Gondry, nice, which is cool. Another uh, Charlie Kaufman mm -hmm. uh, friend. Uh, behind the scenes documentary from Lance Bangs, a conversation between John Malkovich and uh, John Hodgman, <laughs> Spike oh, Jones Hodgman. discussing it uh, from the production, and two films within the film The Seven and a Half Floor Orientation and America's Arts and Culture presents John Horatio Malkovich Dance of Despair and Disillusionment. So, wow. lots, of, lots of fun stuff, plus a booklet featuring a conversation between. Uh, Jones and pop culture critic Perkis Tooth, which huh. is like the awesomest name ever. Yeah, Perkis. Perkis. Perkis Tooth. Wow. Yeah, that is pretty great. Yeah. So that's a pretty I love awesome that name. Just so I can make things and put that in the credits. That's a pretty awesome <laughs> one. The interesting thing that you do not get with the Criterion's that I've noticed is you don't get digital copies, as far as mm. I know, which is kind of interesting. I wonder if they're going to start getting more into that. I know they stream mm. on like Hulu, so yeah, they're that's not a good like question. totally opposed to streaming and downloadable stuff, but. Criterion. Maybe they want a separation between the stuff they stream and like your home owned copy. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, but I feel like, you know, if we're going digital in general, you yeah. know, they probably want to get ahead of the curve there and yeah. give you all this stuff digitally somehow. So Criterion, perhaps you're watching and you can let us know why you haven't done that. So <laughs> please let us know in the comments, Criterion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> With that being said, uh that is it for this week. Mm -hmm. In uh tomorrow's episode, episode one forty eight. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be talking about solo comedic performances mm -hmm. really films are driven by one main actor yeah. through it and that's in honor of the dictator yes sasha barry cohen which comes out this friday comes out this wednesday oh. it's gonna be coming out the same oh, day right. that yeah, episode right. comes out right. so it comes Boom. out tomorrow yeah so I forgot about that you can watch that and then go see the movie <sighs> and then you know you can let us know your feedback at mcguffinpodcast.com mm -hmm. twitter.com slash mcguffincast facebook.com slash mcguffinpodcast phone number leave us a voicemail 323-761-9842 we're on itunes we're on roku miro uh check in at get glue mm -hmm. we like that mm -hmm. and leave us a review we appreciate that and uh with that being said ciao the Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.